Right over the bed, over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get some sports talk. And the Heat hosting Atlanta and pick it up in the fourth quarter. A minute left. Trey Young is driving. He finds Alex Lynn. And look, Trey Young thinks the game is over. <laughs> you always think it's over when you make the final play. The problem is there's still time on the clock. We just saw this happen with Russell Westbrook against the Kings the other night. Yes, the time on the clock means that Duncan Robinson can hit a three. And now it's a three point game, and there's still almost a minute left. And then after a defensive stand by the Heat, they get a chance to tie it. And there's Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's been the second best player in the East. The conference behind the Greek Freak had another triple double. Mitchell Robinson played terrific. University of Michigan alum. See, you thought it was over. This time it's over. You still see there's some minutes left on the clock. Get prepared to play defense. See what happened when you just started all it thought it was over. Two three pointers less than a second to tie the game up. They seen that you said it was over. Done hit a, hit, hit a three. Then Jimmy Butler. The tie the game sending it overtime now. And none as well. They've combined for 70 points. It gets worse because the game then goes to overtime. And it's all, all Miami in the OT. That's Robinson knocking down a three. Here's Bam out of bio inside. He had his first career triple-double. The Heat would go on a 22-0 run after Trey Young called game. All about player development in Miami. And don't sleep. Not only did Bam have a triple-double, he scored 30 as well. And look at that. Look at the moment. Look at the poster. From taking us back to the day in Miami again. They would score 22 consecutive points after Trey Young called game, and they'd wind up winning by 14. So Trey Young, realizing his mistake, tweeted this after the game. <laughs> the good well, thing for the Atlanta Hawks is that Vince Carter's a seasoned veteran, and he's on their roster. The bad thing for the Atlanta Hawks, he's in his 20th season, and they actually rely on him to play quality minutes. All right, but so look at Trey Young. He tweets well, and so then Jimmy Butler posts on Instagram, this man Trey Young is a teller of the future. He was right. <laughs> game was over. <laughs> I've said it before. There is no Twitter better than petty NBA Twitter, and they seem to be in mid <laughs> They was looking like people will get excited when you do that. When you say the game was over, and they went to overtime and then a 22 0 run, yeah, they said it was over for y'all. They, they know it. They know it. Like, okay, he wanted to disrespect us and just think the game was over with. See, you still got to play defense. Don't think it's over yet. Look at the clock first. And get ready to play some defense. When other teams see you say it's over, they light a lot of uh, torch under them. And they tug over in overtime. And you know it, you know it's crazy when you had to rely on Vince Carter in his 20th season to play quality minutes. Probably back in the day, they could have relied on him to play 20 minutes, I mean, uh, quality minutes. But you can't say it's over. It was, it was just too early for that. It's in fall. Absolutely. And Jimmy Butler, again, has been terrific because a lot of times when this offseason happened, people were joining up to play with one another. Jimmy Butler chose his own path to go to the Miami Heat. Eric Sposha, Pat Riley, they pride themselves on player development. And you see on a nightly basis guys that you may not know who they are still find ways to be How about their front office? How about the Heat front office? You Tyler Hero, think about Duncan Robinson. I mean, he made 10 threes last night. Kendrick Dunn, undrafted mm -hmm. players. Bam out of the bio. He'd be a college senior right now, 22 years old. The front office of the Heat at another level. Obviously, with Pat Riley, they're leading the way. One thing, however, because we can talk all we want about basketball, but one of the two of you yesterday was trending on Twitter all day long because of your outstanding hair. Let me try and guess which one of the two of you it was. My hair's oh. going back on defense. He never went back and, on defense. And my barber was reading the press clip and didn't come and give me a cut today, so I'm wolfing. He was jailing. <laughs> Let's show everybody who did not see That's what we're talking about right there. They man. put up a list of the NBA players with the sharpest hairlines, and this was from Slam Online. Jalen right in the middle, and Jalen, the entire world. How, I, I was asking your wife Molly this morning, <laughs> just how out of control is Jalen's ego right now that you were trending all day long yesterday because your hair is so outstanding. But here's the thing, like I said, I'm wolfing today and my barber was reading the press clippings. I've been doing this for a really long time.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download.